Hello everyone, this is Captain Thief with more uh, Fez New Game Plus, you know, loose ends being tied up. And uh, the first thing I want to do today is go check on the clock again. Because, you know, I think every time I'm going to want to check on the clock to see how far that hand has moved. You know, maybe it'll take hours, minutes, I don't know. Hmm. It's moved. But how far? It definitely seems like it doesn't really move at all every minute. Heck, I don't think it moved it at all over the course of an hour. So maybe, maybe this one is a once a day clock. And I think that is probably <clears throat> what it is. And I'm just at it at the wrong time. That's like a whole hour from now before I can get anything from it. So I don't know. We'll, we'll come back later um, and we'll do that. Okay. Anyway, um, let's go to the malt shop. <laughs> let's go back to the um, the room in the village, the one with all the posters around it, um, telling me to do a Tetris dance, but um, it's using numbers I don't understand. And I was just thinking, and this is my main thing, is that they need to be able to show the digits one through ten, even though it kind of makes sense, they maybe you only go up to four. But um, so you take the clock. You got the one at the twelve hand, the two at the three hand. You know, I'm just making this confusing, but um, yeah, I'll show you when we get there. Uh, let's let's fast forward to that part, shall we? Okay, so here we are. That was pretty quick. Actually, it took a while because I don't know the fastest way back here. Anyway, so here's my thought. Okay, so of course, well not really of course, but you know, just my theory. This uh, this um, this thing right above my fez is uh, the one, and this one's the two, and then this one is the three, and um, then this one is the four. In fact, I, I have these still jotted down somewhere. Let me grab that real quick. Yes, and then um, how would you? I got a bug on my hand. One second. Okay, there. Uh, how would you show five, six, seven, eight, or even nine or ten using this? And the way you would is by combining the uh, pictograms. So um, let me see. Um, like this one right here. That that's a a two and a four. So that one should be six if we're using addition. Hopefully it's hopefully it's not multiplication and that's an eight. Um, you know, we'll get to that theory in a second. And this one is a 1 and a 4, so that should be 5. And I still have these written down, so uh, give me a second while I, uh, you know, translate these into addition numbers. This one, this one, and... Okay, I th think, I think I got it. Now... Uh, now I just have to do a little mental gymnastics because uh, I have all these written in the wrong order, but I have the number in the right order. So we go up, right turn, left turn, jump, uh, right turn, or you know, just face right, um, left turn, press down, and right turn. Okay. So I have the number system figured out. Um, I wonder... Okay, now I should be able to uh, press the bell tower in the correct order. So, um, I'm gonna get there real quick and I'll, uh, I'll see you then, alright? Alright, so here we are at the bell tower. Um, so my guess... Because I, I can read these now. You know, that should be one. That should be a 2 and a 4, 6. And that one should be a 1 and a 2, 3. And this one should be a 10. Okay, so we'll go from highest to, or from lowest to highest. So, this one. Let's find the 3. This one. Then the 6. Okay, and now for the 10. Um. Okay, maybe, maybe we'll go from highest to lowest. Okay, so ten. Uh, the six, yeah. 
and then the three, and then the one. This should do it. Ah, come on. Oh, I, I'm at a loss. Uh, so what would one, a three, and a six, and a ten? Well, one plus three plus six equals ten. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try hitting the one one once and the six one six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just a little ridiculous. Then the three one three times. One, two, three. And then the ten one uh, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Hmm. Well, I'm at a loss. I don't know. Well, let's do it one time. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Maybe I need to reset it. I don't know. After each time I do that. One second, please. Don't want to give up on this just yet, because there's got to be something special up there, because... Oh, yeah, this room. Um, still no idea what to do here, but we'll, get, we'll cross that bridge when we burn it down, won't we? Anyway. Um, oh, maybe it's a combination of my theories. Um... We'll do the one first, then the three, you know, one once, three three times, six, six times, and uh, the ten, ten times. Hopefully without getting Gomez killed, but, you know, no promises there. In fact, I can promise that I might get him killed, but that's not really a promise anyway. Promising that you might do something is not a promise. Okay, so we'll start from the lowest. One... One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it was a combination of my theories. And now the bell's gone. Oh no, I ruined it. But that's the thing. Um, I thought I was going to do something bigger than just. Ah, uh, I survived. Um, I, I want to get back up there and show you something because I think there's something up there that. Um, you know, made me think that this was part of something bigger than just an anti-cube, you know, like lowering the water like I keep thinking it's going to be. And um, when you get up to the top, there's a bunch of uh, circles. Yeah, there's a bunch of circles inscribed into the uh, tower itself in the very top. But you can only see it when you're first person, so, you know, that kind of makes it special, I guess. Okay. See, so watch this. That, that right there. What does that? What does that mean? Um, I don't know. Let's look at the map. Yeah, see, my uh, my map even says there's still something here. Um, even though I figured out the bell. Uh, let's look at where the bell. Well, let's look at where the bell was. And um. Uh, nope, that's not the case. Okay, let's look at the maps. Mappity maps. I don't want to leave here without finding everything. Um, you're not a... I'm hoping there's a treasure map in here, actually. Um, but I have no idea how to open it, so... Oh, it is openable. Oh. Um. Um. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. That's cool. Um, I like that. Uh, that actually reminds me of uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. I actually got stuck in that game for a while because I couldn't figure out that you were able to manipulate items in a similar fashion. Spoilers, but, you know, if you don't do that, you're not getting past the beginning of the game, so I'm not really spoiling anything, so meh. Um, as for what else I can do, I want to look at um, these treasure maps because, you know, now I know the number system. So that one's number two. That one's number one. Uh, three. Yeah, one and two is three. And four. Okay. Assuming that there's not a fifth map. Oh, right. My QR codes. Uh, I actually uh, did those earlier. But, um, as far as I understand, I gotta be in the correct place. Actually, no. With the map one, um, I think I can just do it anywhere. So let's, uh, let's have a look at that. Um, okay, so the one that looks like that one popped out a code that was right turn, right turn, right turn, left turn, right turn, right turn, right turn, left turn. Okay, so let's try that. Okay, right turn, right turn, right turn, left turn. Right turn, right turn, right turn, left turn. Yep, okay. But the other one that's in the room, I gotta be in that room in order to grab that. So, uh, cool. Um. Oh. Now where are we going? Um. Well, I'm, I'm afraid to say it, but I think we're going to Graveyard Land McGee. So, let's, uh, let's go back here. Um, what's the quickest way back? Alright, so here we are again. Uh, you know, I want to check the owl thing, because I talked to an owl. If I remember, he said something about the 13 circles, the 64-bit name of God. So maybe, maybe not, yeah, he's back here. Um, what's up there, Allie? Um, can, can you talk to me? Okay, well, anyway, another thing about this game that said something about owls was see the owls, hear their something, gather the parliaments. Um, I don't know, but I talked to an owl, now there's an owl here, so maybe I just need to find all the owls. So if I see any more owls, you know, I'll talk to them, maybe they'll bring, uh, maybe they'll all come back and fly off with that owl's head, I don't know. And, um, more stuff. Well, whatever it says, it repeats the same thing twice. If you read it like that, I don't know. I don't know. To me, it's all just gibberish. Or is it? I actually do have a hint, because apparently if I didn't get this hint, um, it would be way too hard to figure out on my own. But somebody told me that one of the uh, harder things that you need to know to connect everything in this game is that the Rosetta, the true Rosetta Stone, uh, you know, his words exactly, the true Rosetta Stone is where you find the Rosetta Stone. Um, and, oh, if I remember right, that's an achievement in this game, so, you know, I think you already found it, so it's going to take me forever to find it again, but, ow. Uh, nope, I don't get to stay on invisible platforms. Um, yeah. Uh, the tree Rosetta Stone is where you found the Rosetta Stone. Um, and I guess that's supposed to be like a huge hint. Hopefully, you know, not more than I could have figured out on my own, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, apparently I get, maybe, aha! Okay, so here we are at the mausoleum, finally. Um, once again I have no idea what the language means, but it all says the same thing here. Okay, so first, let's look at the first map. Not you. Um, this one. Okay, so the bottom right of the one where the top one is missing a third. Okay. Uh, okay, I think this is it. So, whoops. Let's have a look at that again. Um, this one? Okay, so missing a third, then missing a first, then missing two. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so we're going to go in here. 
first. And now we're going to look for the second one. Um, but yeah, this one. So it's missing a first, then missing the second and the fourth. So it's the third one in the third row. Okay, cool. Um, yes. And uh, uh, hopefully I'm doing this right. Third one in the third row, yes. Wait. I'm not confident. Okay, third one in the third row, yes. Okay. So that's number two done. And now, uh, let's look at the third one. Yes, this one. So it's missing the fourth all the way up there. And it's the third in the second row. Okay. Alright. Ah, okay. Here? I don't want to mess this up. Uh, not you. Uh, uh this one. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is it. Okay, and now... Last but not least, I hope. This one. The one that has all four on the top. But it's missing the second one in the second row. Goes into the second one on the first row. Okay. Uh, all four on top. That one. Um. I gotta go to the top row, right? I think. Let's try and not change the dimensions in case that changes anything. Okay. Time to look at that. This one, second one, first row, yes. Okay, that did it. Whoa, 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 this is freaky. I can feel it. I can feel the cosmos. Holy, m whoa, there's a chest out there. Okay, I, apparently my puzzle solving is not done yet. Um, let's use my shades, even though I probably really shouldn't because I might see something that will utterly destroy my psyche. Um, let's see, let's have another look at the alt. Hey there, how's it going? Um, huh, can I get up on here? No. Can I get up on here? No. Ah! Oh. Oh, jeez. I thought I couldn't go into this blood. Okay, so I just need to swim all the way east from here. Might take a while. <clears throat> but at least I was able to see it when uh, it zooms on by. Okay. So anyway. um, Let's go ahead and open that up. What is that? You found an ancient artifact. I'm a phrenologist now. Okay. Unbelievable. So the legends were true. They did come here. Who? Who? Um, let's have a look at this thing. Um, can I do anything to it? Whoops. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Oh, it's a skull. <laughs> I get it. Um, can I open it up? Does it help me in any way? Um, not that I know of. Okay. Um, what's a fast way back? I don't want to swim through the blood. Anyway, um, I'm still thinking about that one hint I was given. The true Rosetta Stone is where you find the Rosetta Stone. Um, which, you know, I believe it's that writing object, because that makes sense. It wouldn't have been the numbers object, and I found that way later. So where on earth did I find the, um, the writing object, guys? I hope I put it in the title that I found it, because you know, I don't know. Um, you know, I'll, I'll figure that out later.